Hello everybody, welcome back to another legendary location guide here on Borderlands 3. Today I am back and I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the legendary pistol called the Lucky 7. So to do this you're going to need to pick up the main story mission One Man's Treasure. You will be sent to this part of the map in the uh, compactor uh, and you're sent to take down the scrap trap nest. Um, basically once you get into this area after the cutscene you'll be attacked by an absolute armada of little scrap traps. Take them all out, just bring some good corrosive grenades and uh, corrosive weapons, they'll explode pretty easily. Uh, after you've taken all them damn scrap trap prime, the main boss of this area will appear. Uh, again, take him down, good corrosive weapons, grenades, etc. He should come down pretty quickly. He's not too tough, he'll just run after you, let some buzzsaws out, etc. Just keep moving around, jumping around, uh, and eventually he will die. Once he does, he has a very high chance of dropping the legendary pistol called the Lucky 7. As well as, as you can see on screen right now, a few other gifts as well, which are uh, just the new class mods, which are really, really common in this uh, DLC. So here we go, we've got the legendary Lucky 7 pistol. The red text on it says O Fortuna, uh, which is actually Latin for O Fate. I believe there's quite a famous poem and song as well uh, with the same title. It is a Jacob's pistol. The weapon card does not tell you much at all. Uh, as you can see, it's got a nice like um, crimsony red skin with a bit of orange trim, etc. in it. Uh, and it actually has a 7 down the side of it. Very nice looking weapon. So, uh, yeah, the weapon card doesn't tell you much, but I can tell you that this weapon has a special feature. Um, when you shoot the gun, it'll just be a normal Jacobs uh, style pistol. Um, when you reload it, some special bonuses have a chance to be added to it. So you can see this is just it in normal mode. Once I hit reload, I'll pause it for you right now, and you will see, there you go. I have three perks right there, like a seven uh, flame kind of um, image and like a nuke kind of image as well. Uh, these can all randomly um, add aspects to the gun um, and you can see what you're getting once you reload by just pausing it on the uh, the actual main menu uh, like I am right now. Uh, we'll do it and uh, yeah there you can see now I've just got one. You can have one, you can have two, there's a chance of getting three, four and if you're very very lucky possibly five. Uh, these bonuses are as follows. Uh, crosshair is uh, all shots in the magazine deal critical hits regardless of aim. So no matter where you shoot you'll get a critical hit on an enemy. Uh, pierces the enemy and ricochets. Bullets, the weapon is fired in an automatic mode with an increased fire rate. Fire is all shots in the magazine deal elemental damage. The mushroom cloud, all shots in the magazine fire explosive rounds with a blast radius. And the seven is fire seven projectiles in the shape of a seven. It is possible to gain multiple bonuses and it is also possible to get none at all. Obviously, the more bonuses you get, the more powerful this thing is. I like this because it just totally changes the weapon depending on the bonuses. If you get the rapid fire, it goes crazy. You can hardly control it. Uh, if you've got the actual um, elemental kind of side to it, it seems to mainly be shock, I've noticed. Um, that is good, though, for stripping shields, etc. It will always come non-elemental as well. But like I said, you can get the, uh, the chance for the elemental part of it. Uh, the critical hit one is very good. I do like that. No matter where you hit an enemy, it will critical hit it. So yeah, it just changes the feeling of the weapon and it's just rolling the dice constantly of what perks and bonuses you're going to get. All in all though, it's a quite a powerful weapon. Um, obviously, even without the bonuses, it does a lot of damage. With the bonuses, it can really be a game changer. Obviously, like I said, this drops from Scrap Trap Prime, but it also has a chance to drop from any available legendary loot source. So you might be out just farming normal uh, enemies and all of a sudden this thing will drop. But if you want it quickly, the best place to go is the compactor and go farm Scrap Trap Prime. Anyway, guys, there you go. That was the Lucky 7, the legendary Jacob's Pistol in the new Handsome Jackpot DLC. Check out the link in the description for the playlist for the rest of the legendary location guides, as well as a playlist for the Handsome Jackpot DLC itself. All Handsome Jackpot DLC videos will go into that folder, so if you want some new content, go and check that out. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Really hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one.